Hi guys, it's Mary Dade with Kingdom Blueprint. I am so excited. If you guys remember, I came to you before with the first book. We are actually going to start Faith to Move Mountains. It's volume two, two of uh, Life in the Spirit. And so we're going to start day one today. And it's 30 days to a stronger faith in Christ. If you guys want to pick it up, you can go on lifeinthespiritbooks.com. This is where the Lord led me um, for the next several, several months. Every 30 days, I'm going to have a new one and we're going to speak this out. So here is day one. So we're starting with Matthew 21, 21 through 22. Amen. Day one, Jesus answered them. Truly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be thrown into the sea, it will be done. And whatever you ask in prayer, if you believe you will receive declaration, I declare I have mountain moving faith. I had faith to believe that I could be saved and I received his salvation. In faith, I will speak to the circumstances and situations in my life with the word of God the same way Jesus spoke to the fig tree. I am a believer in Christ Jesus and his word. I do receive the things I ask for in prayer. Amen. Guys, this is so powerful. No more doubting. No more doubting. What you believe, you receive. What you receive, you will physically see manifest from heaven onto earth. But in order to do that, you have to believe to be able to receive, to be able to physically see it. So in saying that, when you start feeling like, oh, is that, is God going to come through? Break off that doubt in Jesus' name. Break off that fear. Break off that worry. You cannot come into agreement with lies of the enemy. We either have faith or we either have fear. We cannot serve two masters. And so whatever your situation is in your life, whatever mountain you're looking at, if God said it's done, we need to stand on that. We need to declare and decree that. We need to proclaim and praise him for it being done. Amen. We don't need to doubt. We don't need to keep praying for it. We need to say, thank you, God, that it is done. Thank you, God, you have removed that mountain. Thank you, God, for breaking off that spirit of divorce. Thank you, God, for breaking off that spirit of infirmity. Thank you, God, for doing what you said you've done. I praise you for that in Jesus' name. And we need to speak it until we see it manifest from heaven onto earth. Amen? Hope you have a great day. I'll see you for day two. Bye.